All right, for this practice, you might want a bolster and two blocks. We're gonna work through some standing poses, wrap it up with some finishing postures, and then move into a couple restorative poses for a nice balanced practice. Start standing at the top of your mat, samastitihi. Big breath in, push down through the center of your heels and spread out your toes. Separate your feet as far as you need them to be to feel balanced from right to left and front to back without overexertion or overanalyzing or aligning this pose. It's just simply standing on your two feet. Breathe from your belly in and up to the tops of your ribs, lungs, collarbones. And exhale, slow, steady breath. Okay, on your next inhale, reach your arms, Ordva. Forward bend, exhale, Uttanasana. Half lift, inhale, and step back. Plank pose. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Press your arms forward, thighs back, and lift your hips up. Take your feet back up to your hands. You can walk up. Forward bend, exhale. Bend your knees, inhale, press up. Ordva. Exhale, hands to heart or side, samastitihi. We'll repeat that again. Sun salutation A. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward bend, Uttanasana. And step back, plank pose, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Lift the inner arches. Lift the backs of your sit bones. And press your armpits towards the floor without moving them. Okay, step or hop forward, inhale, fold, exhale. Take the weight into the fronts of your feet a little bit more. Bend your knees, press up, inhale, exhale, stand, samastitihi. Let's do one more sun salutation A, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach, and then exhale, fold, Uttanasana. And step or float back here. So if you're going to step back, inhale, step back. If you're going to float, Inhale, half lift, bend your knees, plant your palms, and exhale, shoot back, bent elbows, chest through your shoulders. Roll over to the tops of your feet, point your big toes back, inhale, and exhale, roll over your toes or knees, downward facing dog. And lengthen out the back of your neck. Soften the shoulder joints just a little bit, but then engage your triceps and pinch them out with your index and index finger and thumb. Okay, step or hop forward. Fold, exhale. Bend those knees, inhale, reach up. Exhale, samastitihi. Fierce pose, inhale, bend your knees, utkatasan. And then press to straight leg stand, exhale, utanasan. And grab your big toes. I'm going to separate my feet a little bit here. Parangushtasan. I'm going to lean forward with my chest and stay here. Or bend your elbows and round. Look under. Pull your belly away from your thighs. And bend your elbows out away from each other. Look up. Inhale. Bend your knees. Roll up to stand, samastitihi, exhale. Step back, open your feet, open your arms, inhale. Exhale, release your hands. 
keep your chest lifted. Turn your left toes in, right toes back. Inhale, open your arms. Exhale, Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. And stretch your left arm up. You can look up or you could look down. Push both feet equally into the floor and lengthen your chest through your shoulders. Okay, inhale all the way up and exhale side two. Turn your feet, inhale, open your arms. Exhale, fold out over the left leg. So it's a side bend. Reach your arms up, reach your right arm up, left hand down and keep pressing up through your right hand. Gaze can be down or up. Turn the left knee out so it's not dropping in. And turn the right toes and the right hip in so they're not opening. Okay, inhale all the way up. And hands to heart. Whoa. <laughs> Careful when you come up. Turn to face the back so the right toes turn. Left toes angle in deep. You might want your block here. Inhale, lift your left hand, and then exhale, fold down over your right leg with a gentle twist. So your right hand or your left hand can come on your right foot and push down and then open up, or your hand on the outside of your foot. And your right elbow can stay bent with the right elbow pointing to the ceiling. Left or your right thumb on the back of your spine. Look up. Squeeze the left thigh, push into that left heel, look down, bend the right knee, inhale all the way up to stand, and then spin to face the other side. Left toes point back, right heel drops back far. Inhale, reach your right hand, lengthen forward using your spine muscles, spinal muscles, right hand to the left foot, or the floor outside of the left foot. And then again, your uh, left thumb on the spine. As you spin open, point your left elbow up to the ceiling. And look up to the ceiling, squeeze the right thigh. Okay, soft bend in that left knee. Inhale up to stand. That went better. <laughs> Step up top of the mat, exhale. Ooh, maybe not, feeling a little wobbly. All right, so let's go ahead and ground here. Obviously, that's necessary. Take Tadasan and just feel a balance between your two feet. Just like we did at the beginning of the practice, check in with your breath. Breathe from your belly in and up to the tips of the lungs, up to your collarbones. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, forward bend, Uttanasan. Left knee back, left knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, reach your arms. Exhale, take your hands down and step back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Left foot forward, right knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up, Ordva with your hands. Low lunge, Anjaneyasana. And exhale, take your hands to the mat so you can step forward with your right foot and fold, exhale, Uttanasana. Bend your knees, inhale, reach up, exhale, stand. Step back with your right foot, open your arms. Left toes turn in, right toes angle back. Go ahead and bend the right knee and reach your arms up. Inhale, warrior one with your hands up. And then as you exhale, take the right elbow either to the thigh, grab your right shin with your right hand or right hand to the floor, and then stretch your left arm up overhead. And then look up to your left hand under your arm or look down to your right foot. Make sure your right knee is bending forward. Left heel bending or pushing back. Left heel stretching back. Okay, inhale up. Come up to stand. Turn to face the other side. Bend that left knee. Reach your arms up. Inhale. Nice little warrior two. Exhale, left hand down, right hand overhead. Press back with the right heel, and then look up under your right arm towards your right fingers or down to the left foot, and keep pulling that left collarbone through so it doesn't collapse. Push back with your right heel. Inhale up. Press to stand. Samastitihi, step up. 
Exhale, hands to your side. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, forward bend, Uttanasana. Right leg back, right knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Exhale, hands down. Downward facing dog as you plant your palms, pinch those fingers. Adho Mukha Svanasana, lift those hips up nice and tall. Right foot steps, left knee down. Inhale, low lunge, reach your arms. Exhale, hands to the floor and step forward, Uttanasana. Forward bend. Bend your knees, inhale all the way up. Exhale. Take your hands behind your back, reverse prayer. Slide your hands up, press your palms together. If this isn't gonna work for you, grab opposite forms or elbows. Start to bend your knees, fierce pose. And then press into your hands with your back. Let your back extend so there is a nice back bend here. And then start to shift forward and feel the back muscles work under your hands. Left knee lifts, float it back, warrior three. Bend your right knee, land on your left foot, straighten your right leg, inhale. Exhale, Pyramid Parshvottanasana. Okay, bend the right knee, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands down to the floor, Pyramid Stretch. And then step forward, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift to shoot back or step back plank pose. If you're shooting back, bend the knees. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips, press thigh bones back, press arms forward. And step or hop forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Samastiti hi. Exhale. Hands behind your back. Set up for the second side. Okay, fierce pose. Bend your knees again. Feel your back muscles pressing into your hands. Whatever binding you've got, you can feel the engagement underneath your hands. And then start to shift forward a little bit. And then really feel those back ribs push into your hands. Lift your right knee and start to float your right leg back. Squeeze your right glutes. And push down through your left heel and big toe mound. Land on the right foot. Straighten your left leg. Inhale. Pyramid. Exhale. Parjvatanasana. Exhale. Press those palms together if you've got your prayer pose. Use your biceps to press. Keep pushing down into the right heel and the left heel as well. Soft bend in the left knee, release your hands. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward bend. Pyramid stretch. Keep pressing both legs equally, so squeezing both thighs. And then step forward. Exhale. Inhale, fierce pose, Utkatasan. Press to straight leg stand, exhale. Good. Right knee, inhale, lift your arms, lift your right leg, and then exhale, cross your right ankle over your left thigh and balance. Right hand to your right foot. Pick up your right leg, open your left arm, and then open your right leg. Squeeze your left hip in, and engage your left glutes and hamstrings. Push out through your right thigh, push into your hand with your foot, and pull your right shoulder back to resist the right foot. Take your right leg forward, inhale, and then exhale, swing it back. High lunge, just to turn to the right, warrior one. 
So spinning is facing the back of your mat now. Virabhadrasana A, bend the right knee forward and press back with your left heel and lift your back ribs. Lift your front ribs equally. Look where you want. You can look out or down or up. Open warrior two. Just turn your shoulders slightly and expand your chest through the two shoulders. Expand your fingertips away from each other as well as your thighs. Swing your left arm down and step forward, fierce pose. Inhale, so you're now facing the other end of your mat. Chair or fierce. Inhale, press all the way up. Standing pose. Samastitihi. Left knee. So as you inhale, reach your left knee up, reach your arms. Exhale, flex your left ankle, cross it over your right thigh. And pause here. Send your hips back and your chest forward. Nice little extension in your low back, so there is a back bend here. Left hand catches the top of your left foot, and as you press your right leg straight using your right glutes and hamstrings, open your right hand out, and then start to press your left leg out. Squeeze your right hip in. Create resistance between your left hand and your left foot, so as the foot pushes into your hand, your upper left shoulder muscles come back in and pull in. Inhale, swing your left leg forward. Let your right hand help if it needs to stretch up or hand to hip. And then we're gonna step back through a lunge just to turn and face the front side of your mat where we started, warrior one. Bend your left knee. Press back with your right heel. Lift your chest and open your heart through your shoulders. So even if you're not looking up, press your chart heart through your shoulders. If you are looking up, it's a little easier to do that. Your chest just follows your eyes. And then hands come to heart. Simply open your arms away from each other. Press your chest through and open. Expand your thighs away from each other. Expand your knees away from each other, your feet. So it'd be more like your left heel pressing forward or your right heel pressing backward. Squeeze your triceps up to your arm bones. Okay, swing your right arm down. Step forward, fierce pose, inhale, and exhale. Forward bend, Uttanasana. Half lift to step back plank or prepare for a shoot back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, knees to the floor. Cross your ankles and sit back over your feet. Take your legs out straight in front of you. Inhale, push your sit bones back and exhale, fold. You can use your hands on your feet, the floor, wherever it's helpful. And keep pressing your sit bones and your tailbone back behind you, not out away from each other, but squeezing in and back behind. Squeeze your thighs and pull your knees up towards your hip creases, so not up towards the ceiling. Um, you're kind of pushing the backs of your knee pits down and pulling the kneecaps up towards your front hips. You can point your toes or you can flex. This is your call. Okay, I'm going to up to seated. And then all the way up, pull the right knee into your chest, exhale. Take your right foot over your left thigh. And inhale, start to hook a twist, left elbow on right thigh. 
lift your chest through, and then exhale, finish the hook, wherever it's going. So it may stay in front of the knee, maybe it hooks over the outside of the thigh. And keep rolling that right collarbone open to the back, like corner of the room. So my right shoulder is pushing back, the right collarbone following. The left collarbone going in the opposite direction. Okay, inhale, release. Take your right foot to the inside of your left thigh, Janu Shirshasan. Sit bones back, tailbone back, exhale, fold. And press the outer right thigh down towards the floor and point the right knee back at an angle behind you, away from your left knee, away from the left foot. Inhale up to seated, squeeze that left thigh so the kneecap pulls up so you can feel your sit bone drive down into the floor when you come up to seated. Pull the right knee in and straighten out the right leg. Left knee, exhale, squeeze it in. Step it over the outside of your right foot this time. Inhale, set the hook up. Left hand back, right arm hooks or around or around the, uh, around the front of the knee or the outside of the thigh. And then as you inhale, lengthen, press those collarbones apart. And then as you exhale, get the hook where you need it. So wherever your right arm is helpful. Left toes point straight forward and push down into your left foot as you press out through the right foot. And then again, squeeze the right thigh so you can squeeze that right kneecap up. Okay, inhale, untwist. Take your left foot now to the inside of your right thigh. Press your sit bones back. Roll on your hips, so the hips roll forward. Take an inhale. Push, push the outer left knee down and press the left knee back away from you back towards the end in that angular line. And then fold as you exhale. And keep squeezing the right thigh to pull that knee up. That'll activate your right foot. So if you just squeeze the right thigh, the right foot will activate. And that'll avoid any like sickly foot, like wobbly foot. Keep pressing the outer left leg down. Okay, inhale up to seated. And then let's take this onto the back. Come down into reclining position. Sarubanda Sarvangasana, press your hips up to the ceiling, use your elbows to help press, and your shoulders. Start to crawl them toward each other underneath your back, and then you can interlace your fingers and press the wrist down. Triceps crawl under, the deltoids crawl under, pushing your entire spine eventually up off the ground. Your thigh bones press up to the ceiling, knees press forward. Widen your feet if you need, turn your toes out if you need, it's not gonna hurt your back, it's actually gonna help. Okay, shoulders come out from under, triceps press down, get a solid grounding there, and then lower down to your hips. I'm just pause here. All right, so from here, take your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, apanasan. Come up to hands and knees, and come over to hands and knees, pose easily from that seated position, and headstand, shirshasan. If you know you don't want to take headstand, you can substitute dolphin pose, which is down dog on your elbows, and the head just hanging, so the head's free of the floor. And can walk your feet in a little bit. Lift your heels and challenge the shoulders. This is actually harder than headstand for me. It's more shoulder work. 
So I'm gonna lower my head down behind my palms that just opened up, keeping the fingers interlaced. Push onto your elbows as you pull your feet up, and they can be bent knees, one foot at a time, both legs together. And when you're ready, you can take your feet up to the ceiling. Use a wall for support if you need. Keep pressing down equally into both elbows from the shoulders, from the upper back, push down into the floor. Squeeze your glutes and your thighs. Again, pull those kneecaps up towards the front hips. And feel if you're pushing more down into one side than the other. Push into your head a little bit, but not a lot. So using those neck muscles, get them strong. And flex your ankles and point your toes and move your feet around. What feels good. Use an inhale just to mentally prepare to come out. And then as you exhale, your feet can come down nice and slow. And child's pose. Take a rest. Okay, we'll move into our first restorative posture, Sphinx Pose, and come down to your belly, elbows under your shoulders, point your toes back, and then keep your gaze down, out towards the bridge of your nose, out past the front of your mat. See what you can soften, and see what you need to engage. Pull the shoulders um, back into the normal place. So I wouldn't say pull them back. Instead, press your chest through. If your low back is experiencing any pain here, just use your thighs and your glutes to engage the legs a little bit more and turn on those stabilizing muscles. come back up. So if you had your eyes closed, open them up. You can take hands to the mat and lower down out of that sphinx pose for just a minute. There's a moment here. And then start to push down into your knees and your hands to come up to table. Tabletop. Crawl your knees in so that your back comes out of that back bend slowly. So we're not taking a big stretch here, just neutralizing the spine. Okay, I'm gonna grab my bolster here for child's pose. You can use the bolster, you don't have to if you don't have one at home. Put a pillow under here, a couple blankets rolled up. Or you don't even need one. But if you are using something, the bolster just comes into the mid thigh area. You're not sitting on it. And I'm just gonna snuggle yourself in. And rest on the bolster, balasan. Let your feet relax, hips drop, shoulders relax, head rests. Just focus on your breath here.
And then start to inhale and press down into the mat or the bolster with your hands, come up to seated. And then we'll take the bolster behind. I'm gonna switch this up into a recline bound angle, Supta Vada Konasan. I'm gonna use two blocks in my bolster. Again, you don't need any props here, but you're welcome to use what you've got at home. If you feel like you want a little stacking on the outside of your thighs, feet together. I'm not sitting on the bolster, I'm sitting on the floor. So if you are using a bolster, it's a little bit of a back bend here. And then when I lie back, legs are supported, I'm gonna take the blocks out. And then rest your head on the bolster. And if you need an extra little lift for your head, if you feel like your chin is lifting up or your forehead is dropping lower than your chin, it's gonna put pressure on the front of your throat when you breathe, so it's not gonna feel real good. So if you need a little pillow, a blanket under your head will help. Arms out next to you. Make sure both shoulder blades are supported evenly so that you're not off to the side. And just let your legs fall down into the props. Imagine you're pushing into the props just with a little subtlety. So you're never just laying on the bolsters and letting them support you. You're active in the posture. Again, I'm using my shoulder blades on the bolster here, just kind of a gentle push. And then I feel my breath when I breathe. It connects those, those points to the bolsters, so my back ribs and the shoulder blades connect when I inhale. And when I exhale, I don't just drop into the bolster. I feel my breath resist the bolster and push away. So there's core engagement in this. And body awareness.
great inhale start to move your fingers and toes and then feet back on the floor Put the blocks out of the way and use the bolster for one final restorative posture shavasana and again you don't need to use anything if you don't want to so i'm going to to seated pushing into the bolster to come up and again your body should have been active and ready to push so the restorative poses be careful you're not just laying on the floor and checking out you should be very aware all right restorative Shavasan. So this one you can check out though if you want. So this one, take a rest. Set yourself up in the posture that works best for you. If you don't like a reclining Shavasan, you can stay seated and take a seated meditation. I like the bolster under the backs of my thighs because it releases my back, especially since I was just in that back bend. So if I'm doing that, I'm coming right down to the sit bones, but not on the bolster. My sit bones are on the floor, but the backs of my glutes are just butting up right to the bolster. So the bolster is supporting my hamstrings, not my knees. And then I'm going to lay back. And I'm going to check out. Peace, yogis. Thanks.